started this event, it was mainly for stuntmen and film industry guys. We decided, let's throw an event, sort of like the old days, and kind of bring back that soul. And then Troy Lee wanted to get involved, and then he added his chaos and color to it, and it just grew ever since. This event, I think, is a lot different than others because it's not people chasing points, it's not people looking for some kind of a season title or something like that. It's, it's fun. We're at Glen Helen Raceway for Red Bull Day in the Dirt. It's definitely a non-miss event. It's motocross. Brutal, raw. That's what it's all about, man, trying to hold on. <laughs> Just a great group of people that come out, you know, have some fun. Uh, so many different classes. You know, my teammate Ricky Johnson's out here racing with his son and uh, just having a fun, fun time camping at night, partying. So it's a really fun event. There's something for everyone out here at Day in the Dirt. You got the kids races, you got the vintage races, you got the, you know, the old slow guy races, you got the ones for the young fast kids to just go, you know, knock themselves out and go crazy. Um, there's something for everyone out here and I definitely think that's what makes it, makes it so family orientated. Different classes of the day in the dirt range from uh, vintage, which is older bikes, you know, I mean, from way, way old. You'll see guys out there on a whole Harley stuff, it's pretty funny. But all the way up to top pro, Jeremy McGrath, uh, the top guys. You know, this is the only race in the year where everyone brings their family, all the kids come out, and it's just low pressure, cool atmosphere, and we just want to go out and have fun and be safe, and what more could I ask for? But I got, got team race. The uh, the team stash is about to take numbers and names out here. So you got a guy start, he goes a lap, you switch with your teammate, your teammate goes a lap, and you just continue on for what 75 minutes until it's over. It's mayhem, you know, because like one lap, you gotta run. Uh, it's just like full intensity, such a battle out there. And, have two team races that are absolutely huge. But our granddaddy of them all is called the Coup de Gras, final death row. We have about a two hour race. And it's not a two hour enduro, it's a two hour motocross race. And um, if you've ever been on a motocross track for two hours going wide open, you, you know that you, you know you've done something. We're getting in the Coup de Gras, two and a half hours. Go out, ride around, play with your buddies, you know, go moto, roost each other a little bit, and just try to stay out of the deep, deep bumps. Yeah, that was good. That was, yeah, unreal. So, first time over here, and uh, so, yeah, worked out well and, and won the day.